dollar duration. Um, this, rather than the uh, equivalent, so the bond duration, as in the previous video, bond duration is the um, equivalent zero coupon bond, uh, which would have the the equivalent sensitivity to this uh, to this plain vanilla bond. So this plain vanilla bond uh, uh, of ten years maturity has an equivalent duration to a zero coupon bond with maturity of nine point nine three eight eight years. On the other hand, if we want to know dollar duration, we're measuring the dollar sensitivity to the change in yield. In this case, it's the same bond as in the previous video. So I've got a 10-year bond uh, with a yield of... Uh, the yield that I'm going to measure is 25 basis points up or down change. At the current market value is $98.87 and the current yield is 0.365%. Um, 36 and a half basis points. So I want to see how many dollars of price appreciation or depreciation we're going to, or the, the price volatility we're going to see uh, given a, an up or down move of 25 basis points in yield. So the formula for this is uh, the dollar duration. We take the bond duration as an input, and uh, so we input here the bond duration multiplied by the initial bond price and we multiply that by the change, the yield change in decimals, which is going to be 25 basis points. Okay, so we're going to take the um, we're going to, so for the dollar duration, we're going to take the um, the bond duration, which is uh, 9.9388 years multiplied by the original price, $98.87, and we're going to multiply that by the yield change that we're measuring in decimals, which is 0 0.0025, 25 basis points. And the result of this is a change plus or minus um, $2.46. And I can confirm that with a, with a calculator right here so if we take um, if we take 9.9388 years we multiply that by $98.87 we multiply that by um, 0 0.002 by 25 basis points we get 2.4566 so we round it to two, uh, $2 and 46 cents so if this bond uh, increases or decreases by um, 25 basis points, the average change in value is going to be $2.46. And the exact figure when we calculated it originally, so this is like an average or an expected value. But there is a, a difference between an appreciation and a depreciation. So in fact, the real precise value is um, that you could have either a loss of $2.40 or a gain of $2.47. So that's the answer.